Bloop, 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 bloop. Benvenue, everybody. Hi, it's me, Mitchell Trench, and welcome to this year's Eurovision Song Contest 2016 Stockholm Reviews. Yes, this year, again, due to popular demand, I will be reviewing the entries for the 61st Eurovision Song Contest in Stockholm, Sweden, hosted by Petra Mide. Welcome to the Eurovision Song Contest. We love Petra Media. I'm going to be talking about what should make a successful Eurovision entry. And there's really five big steps that you need in order to be a successful Eurovision song. The thing is you have to be able to master every five quality to make a successful Eurovision song. You can't have two, you can't even have four. You need to have all five in order to be successful. Quality number one. It needs to be a commercially ready for radio hooky song. Now you'd think it would be a given that a song needs to be commercial and catchy, but in Eurovision that is not always the case. It needs to be a song that's going to be played so many times that it's ready for radio. It's supposed to be like a debut single song that represents the whole country. It needs to be hooky and there's so many instances where hooky wins and it at the end of the day it is a songwriting contest. It needs to have a catchy melody and it needs to be contemporary sounding. It just needs to be hooky, catchy and ready for radio. It needs to have a young fresh sound but a lot of time entries come in with these songs like Me and My Guitar by Belgium. I'll always remember that entry. But I don't want to let it go and the other one, Mijera by Croatia in 2014. And I got slack for criticizing that song, but a uh, lovely song not for Eurovision, you know what I mean? It has to be commercially ready, it has to be catchy, it has to be hooky. You know, that's gonna get the votes. Quality number two, it needs to be dynamic. And what that means is it has to have levels in order for it to progress. So it can start off soft. And then by the chorus, it should be a really powerful chorus. And then the second verse is a lot more powerful than the first verse, but a little bit dimmer. And then it goes back to being powerful. And then there's a crazy ass bridge. And then at the end, it's just exploding with powerhouse. I'm like a That's the kind of instance in where dynamic will take you into a successful song. But it needs to have dynamic and once again, Me and My Guitar by Belgium is one that stands out because I really disliked that song that year because there was no dynamic. Also, um, Come After the Storm by Netherlands in 2014. It's another instance where the song is just a bit bland. There's nothing to it. The country songs need to have dynamic as well. It just kind of had one wavelength and it was a little bit bland. Even they come through the storm. It was like the hookiest bit. So it needs to have dynamic, it needs to explode vocally, and it needs to explode. It just needs to explode. Explode, pebble! Quality number three. Okay, this is funny because I used to have this eccentric music teacher who used to always tell us, you need to sing with a sense of occasion. 
So she was batshit crazy, but she actually did have a point that one time. And the thing is, you do need to sing with a sense of occasion. It is Eurovision Song Contest, okay? It's not a night at the pub. It's the biggest international song contest in the world. And you are representing your country. It's supposed to be known as the best song by that country for the whole year. And people talk to me, there's a lot of mellow songs and I, I get slandered when I criticize a song for being too bland and not being able to win Eurovision. People go, no, it's a perfect song. I could, I actually want it to win Eurovision. I had people telling me that they wanted bake a cake. <sighs> I've got a cake to bake. I've got no clue at all. I've got a cake to bake by Latvia in 2014 to win Eurovision. And this is my question. I always answer it by asking a question for these people. So Cake to Bake or any mellow song that people criticize me for criticizing. Okay, so say at the end when they win, when they get the most votes, they get up on stage, there's people there giving them the Eurovision trophy and they start singing their song because the winner sings twice. They sing their winning song, there is explosions, there is fireworks, there is confetti and cheers and streamers going everywhere. And they go, We got a cake to bake. I have no clue at all. Shap, 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 ba -doo, doo Do you think that it's going to be a big response? Do you think it's going to be a big moment? The answer is no, it's not going to work. This is an occasion. This has to be an epic, an epic song. So that every song should have a sense of epicness. Undo myself, undo my see epicness I get really annoyed because it's a must. If it doesn't have epicness then it shouldn't be submitted as a song to represent that country. For Eurovision it has to be big, it has to be powerful. Thank you Euphoria! Euphoria was such a perfect example as a winning song I mean, you can look at every winning song and it's, it has a sense of epicness. They all do. Ever since Ne Blue De Pinto De Blue. Volare, oh, oh, cantare, oh, oh, oh. Number four, it has to have a sophisticated melody. And by that, I mean it has to be something that is smart. And you know, a lot of the times that isn't the case. We've looked through 70s, 1980s, 1990s, even the early 2000s, and there's some really kind of cheesy songs. I'm thinking United Kingdom 2007. We're flying the flag all over the world. Lying the flag for you. Pull firmly on the red cord and flow into the mouthpiece. We wish you a very pleasurable journey. And of course, a song with a singing turkey is not going to be doing very well. Lock phone, shop phone, skip your 12 today, and you're all invited to Dublin, Ireland. They've been party the Shamrock Way. Island. To be sophisticated, this is a song contest after all. Throughout the years recently, it's gotten a lot better. Last year, people, it was being praised for being such high quality in songs that it's it's getting really good. So it's, it's only making Eurovision so much better. Notice I said you don't need to have sophisticated lyrics because a lot of the time, even the winning songs, they don't have great lyrics, but they have a great melody. Years ago, when I was younger, I kind of liked a girl I knew. She 
was mine and we were sweethearts that was then but then it's true and that is the difference with eurovision compared to other successful music markets and finally but most importantly number five this is where eurovision is different people because eurovision is a european song contest in australia yeah i know we'll get to that later because of this it's a cultural event a country's given advantage that make, make them unique from any other country is that they get to have the use of cultural things and motives that means to make it culturally unique compared to the rest and i've said this before and i'll say it again armenia generally takes the cake for the best use of cultural motives and themes. Looking at songs like Kele Kele, Kele Kele, Kele Kele, And should I live, should I die without your love? Should I smile, should I cry without your love? Everybody move your body, we got a thing, John John. Everybody must be ready, chop it up to your John John. So it's just what they do. And to be fair, Azerbaijan also have some good songs as well, like Always On My Mind. Always on my mind, always in my heart. Turkey is usually a good one, but we're kind of annoyed with Turkey because Turkey's annoyed with us and they're not competing at the moment. Come back Turkey, we're waiting for you when you're ready. But they also have some really good cultural songs, like the 2003 winning song called Every Way That I Can. Every way that I can. Every way that I can. I'll die, I'll die, make you. The verse was amazing. I feel you come in a different coast, moving away from a different coast. You say you love me, but you roll your eyes. Anyway, you need to have cultural motives in a song. If you have these five qualities, you're going to stand out and you should be a successful Eurovision entry. So take my advice. All the best of luck to all the countries this year. Please like, comment and subscribe. And you can check out my videos of the reviews of all the Eurovision entries for this year. So until next time, bonsoir Europe and bye bye.